Hey guys, I'm gonna upgrade my batteries today in my van. So this is a DC Mont 220 amp lithium battery and uh, I'm gonna upgrade them from my 100 amp uh, AGM batteries. Okay, so this is the uh, 220 amp lithium battery that I purchased off eBay. It's got some pretty good specs. I was quite impressed with it. Um, you know, I've had an eBay battery before, a different brand, but it's still in my car now and I've had it for about four years and it runs multiple fridges. I've got solar going to it. It's been a great battery, so I'm not opposed to buying from eBay. I think sometimes some of these big batteries companies are just very expensive right now. Um, so it's worth giving these guys a, a go. So DC Mont is the battery here. I only paid two and, well, I'd say, sorry, it says uh, 659 there, but if you look down, there's a voucher there for uh, 98 bucks. So I really only paid like 550 dollars plus free postage came in like two three days really well packaged really impressed with um uh the way that it was packaged and um and the quality of the battery and uh the lightness of it just wow so anyway so i just thought i'd show you that one so let's get started on upgrading the batteries okay i have uh 200 amp hour agm batteries in here and they are very cheap ones this actual caravan came with a 200 amp hour inner drive, but it was going to be an extra of like $3,000, so it just didn't sound right considering that it was actually a little bit cheaper to buy them online. Um, so I just said no to that, and then they ended up putting, um, you know, these basic cheap ones in there, which has worked for your basic stuff, you know, you know, um, lights and fans and stuff like that. But as soon as you really want to use a bit of power, you really can't use these batteries. Because, um, you know, that's 100 amp hour there, that's 100 amp hour there, but because they're AGMs, you know, they really only use 50% of their capacity. So that's technically a 15 amp, 50 amp hour, that's a 50 amp hour. So combination, it's really only 100 amp hours of battery capacity I've got there. Um, and even still, you know, they just, um, they don't work too well when you have a high load. They seem to drop the voltage very quickly, whereas uh, that's the benefit of a lithium, because a lithium keeps the voltage up. So anyway, let's change this out. There's a few uh, cables here, so I'm hoping that I can sort of fit all those cables onto just two terminals of the new battery. So let's uh, let's get them out, and I want to weigh them as well. To disconnect your batteries, I'd probably recommend to come in here and undo the screw at the top there and screw at the bottom, and just unplug that, so that'll um, kill any kind of power to your batteries. Um, but I'll be honest, I didn't do it. <laughs> Uh, just because that plug was a bit, a bit dicky to take out, so what I did is I just taped all my terminals and that made it safe. So what I'll do is undo these bolts and take, uh, take these clamps out. So what I've done is I've disconnected pretty much all the cables there. And then what I've done is I've wrapped, you know, a bit of tape around the actual uh, metal part of the terminals. And then taped the positives together, negatives together. And then this one is my uh, inverter neutral and positive neutral, I tape the ends up. It's just for safety. Um, but yeah, that's all disconnected. And then also what you could do if you're really onto it is uh, maybe get a bit of white tape and just mark them. Uh, yeah, all right, next step, let's get them out. Okay, batteries are out. I got my negatives together, I got my positives together. They also go with those ones over there. It just makes it a lot easier, safer if you tape them up as well. Um, yeah, let's just, I'll do a couple of measurements for you guys so you can sort of work out the size of this black battery box. It is a bigger size, it's like a double. So I'll do a couple of measurements for you. Okay, so the biggest you could go there in your battery box on this double battery box to the frame is about 232 mil. So that's the width. Let's, let's do the length. Uh, look, I'd probably call that you know, 690, 690 to the inside of that uh, frame there, and that is your length. A normal battery, but normal battery length is about, you know, just under 300. So yeah. All right, let's get the new ones in. All right, weigh in. <laughs> I'm curious just to see what the weight is of these AGM batteries. They're only about 12 years old, uh, 12 months old. Um, but I know they are a lot heavier than the new lithiums and as I said before that's 100 amp hour that's 100 amp hour but really AGMs can only do half of their rating so technically that's only 50 amp hour and that's 50 amp hour so total of 100 amp hour whereas this one that I got on eBay 
you know you might be going oh ebay battery you know it won't last but honestly i've had an ebay battery in my uh, ute and it's lasted four years this is the first that i've tried the dc mod so i'm really curious to uh see how it goes i really didn't want to go out and spend two three thousand dollars on a battery uh when i know that some of the cheaper ones actually do perform almost just about as good so that's why i went the cheaper one and it was a really good deal so let's uh this is all just an experiment just to see if these uh, cheaper batteries are any good all right Twenty two point seven kilos. That's just for one. And I've got two of them in my caravan. So I'm sure you can do the figures on that. Twenty-two. Wow, you could almost call that twenty-three kilos. Shit, so that's forty-six kilos. Forty-six kilos of batteries. Okay. Alright, let's uh let's see how the lithium goes. Alright. So we got the battery on there, we got seventeen point eight. Holy mackerel, I'd have to do the mass on that, but that is... Turn it on again. It's... There we go, 17.8. Wow. The weight of that, that's a 220 amp hour lithium battery, the weight of that is less than just one one hundredths. But you know, too, out of the box, I push that uh, BMS little battery voltage meter, and you're already reading 13.3 out of the box so that is pretty good okay let's put it in the only sort of suggestion i'd probably suggest to dc mont is probably about their uh, bolts they're just too short i mean that that distance there they've done for that bolt is correct for the the size of the thread inside the battery but then once you start adding you know a couple of these uh terminals there uh that that distance there is just too short so battery is all terminated it actually looks way neater <laughs> i must say uh i guess the beauty about doing things yourself sometimes you know is uh you actually care about your stuff so you actually you know you you try to make things look as tidy as you possible can so yeah it's all terminated got my inverter cables up top there and then obviously all my accessories one thing i don't get about can uh caravan manufacturers is you know label your stuff Put a label on it it's not hard it's so cheap and easy and quick to do if i was wiring this caravan i would have every circuit uh, labeled we do it in houses it's part of the law so it really should be compulsory in caravans too it just um it's easy for fault finding and also you know just let you know what your stuff is you're checking for fuses you know it'd be good to know because at the moment i really i could figure it out but really right now i don't know uh what these fuses do just go inside and just see what's happening inside on the controller all right so my red arc is actually i've walked in and it's telling me to confirm the battery so i'll show you another way to do it if you have to get to the settings Oops, it's a bit harder with the camera okay so it's just asking what the chemistry is chemistry so we just want to go left or right okay you see agm that's what it was on lead acid calcium should be a lit there you go that's what we want and then I'm assuming we go down here to get to the capacity yep and we want to put it on 20 and max current obviously you want to keep that the same so if we're happy with that lipo yep so I was already going to do that but it actually came up with it already I must identify the voltage is a bit higher than the different uh, the AGM so that's probably why but if you wanted to know how to get into that I can see that it's gone zero percent there so let's just we'll have to work all that out too but um what you do is you go down to keep going down to battery type which is the middle one here and then that'll tell you battery but we already set that so okay now it's got to figure out why it's not showing any reading on that so let's figure that one out all right so done a little bit of research um basically it goes into a safe mode uh, and then it does like a full charge so that percentage will come back up to whatever percentage is 100% uh, in a few hours hopefully uh, that's what they do say it just needs to do a um, charge and then it will um, show its percentage as you can see it actually is working I've got solar there and there's a few amps going into my battery system so 
Yeah, so I mean the system is actually working. It's just not showing the percentage, so that's fine. So apparently it shows up after it's done a full uh, full charge. Uh, I do have the black switch turned on as well, our load switch. But um, yeah, cool. All right, let's get back into finishing it off. Okay, finished with the upgrade. It's all tucked in, nice and neat. I actually quite like it having all this gap here, so you can get to the fuses easy. Before it was kind of up here, it was a bit tight. Uh, I would suggest. I would suggest putting it on your positive first because just at the back there it's a bit easier. But um, definitely if they just gave you an extra five more mil on those bolts it would, would have been a lot more easier. But uh, yeah, these clamps they just fit in. If you've got a Supreme, they do fit in. I mean if you could trim them a little bit more, I just didn't want to muck around with it. But yeah, basically here yeah, they all fit in. Fits in nice and neat. It's a little note I forgot to mention also. So you have your cables. So when you had your old uh, AGMs in here, two of them, you did have um, these bridging cables which join them together between the two two uh, batteries, the positive and the negative. You don't need them for a, a single battery. So I just removed them. Yeah, you don't need them. All right, so I am all done. If you are a Supreme owner, unfortunately you have to take this bar out. <laughs> Actually, which which uh, it wasn't too bad. Just a couple of bolts there, 13 mils. It actually, was come off pretty easy. But uh, unfortunately, yeah, you got to take this bar off. But uh, that fits in there really well. And that battery box, the double battery box, it's really secure. I'm pretty happy with that. I will put a padlock or something on here as well. So obviously, it just reduces people uh, stealing. But at the moment, pretty happy with that. So I just want to see. What the screen says now. So I just plugged in. So I just plugged in my uh, 240 volt chargers. Well, basically the lead. Just plugged it in, and you can see it. Yeah, it definitely bumped up to 32 amps. So, so we haven't got a percentage. Everything works in the van, though. Lights and all that. It's all working, but it just doesn't show a percentage. So, they just said that it's in safety mode and it's just going to do a cycle. So, yeah, but it's uh, everything's working. Yeah, very stoked that I've um, picked up this 220 amp uh, lithium battery for like 550 bucks off eBay at DC Mont. At the moment, yeah, I've already tested this as well. Battery's running really good. Solar's input's great. Everything's running good. I've tested my inverter. So I'm really, really happy with the, uh, with the new pickup of the new lithium battery. So onwards and upwards, guys, on to the next uh, modification. Thanks guys, like and subscribe and uh, keep you updated with all the latest videos and mods I'm doing to this. Thanks for watching guys, see ya.